Here we are again. Okay, and today we're going to practice together that same exercise that we did in class called American Government. The reason for doing this, it accomplishes two purposes. It helps us again learn a little bit more about the United States, which we're focusing on, on in class, but it also has many, many multi-syllable words. And remember in class we decided and we, we studied what, uh, what a syllable was and how English is a syllable time language and identifying stressed and unstressed syllables are really, really important because an English speaker is going to make severe contrast between those stressed and unstressed syllables. So let's just even practice the title because if we look at the word American, it's got three syllables. Government, it's got three syllables. Now which one is stressed? American, the second one, and government. So mer and gov are going to be the two syllables that you're going to hear loud and long, and the vowels are going to be very clear. So American government. American government. Now before we go into reading the passage, I'm going to practice all those multi-syllable words with you that we did in class. We're going to discover which is the stressed syllables and then we're going to slur those unstressed syllables. So here we go. Yep, here we go. <laughs> all right, the first word, international. All right, there are five syllables in that. International. Okay, and what's the stress syllable? Which is the one you're hearing? international international I can exaggerate it international right? international so you can really hear it but American is going to say it international now when you say na you're going to be it's going to be slower and it's going to be louder and the vowel is going to be clear you hear that real ah sound there so let's let's practice that word together international international the next word Decisions, right? Decisions are only three syllables here. Decisions, that middle one is the one that's stressed. Can you hear it? Decisions, decisions, decisions. You don't really hear the first one and you don't hear the last one real well. Decisions, decisions. And we go to the next one. Now here, be careful. This T-U is pronounced chu, chu. Situated, situated situated. Uh, you kind of hear two syllables. The first one, sit, and you hear a a little bit. This is secondary stress. The first one here is the one that receives the, the loudest and longest stress. Situated, situated, situated. And so the chu, remember the tu is pronounced like chu, situated. Next one, presidential. There are four syllables in this one. Can you figure out which one is stressed? Presidential. Presidential. It's that dent that gets the stress. Presidential. And notice, chu, the T-I, is again pronounced like a ch, ch sound. Presidential. Presidential. Here we go. Here's a nice long one for you. Congressional. Four syllables, right? Congressional. Congressional. Which one receives that stress? It's that second one, the GRE, congressional, congressional, congressional. Here we go, be careful at TU is that CHU sound again, centuries, centuries. Here the first syllable is stressed, centuries, centuries. And I really almost feel my whole body moving up and, and putting the force of my voice into that first syllable. Centuries, centuries, centuries. Revolution, that T-I-O-N, the T-I is pronounced shun, revolution, revolution. How many syllables? Revolution, right? Revolution. Which one receives stress? Revolu revolution, right? Revolution, revolution. These first two, you're going to have to go fast. Bum, bum, mm, mm, bum, bum, mm, mm. So, revolution, revolution. Here we go, suspicious, suspicious, three syllables. The middle one is going to be stressed. Suspicious, suspicious, suspicious. Finally, we've got the word individual, individual. Let's see, individual, individual. So we've got four syllables there, individual, and that v is the one that's stressed, isn't it? Individual. Let's go down that first column with me again. Make sure you can pronounce these well. 
international, international decisions, decisions, situated, situated, presidential, presidential, congressional, congressional, centuries, centuries, revolution, revolution, suspicious, suspicious, individual, individual. Okay, let's go look at our second list, which is a little bit more difficult uh, because the words there are, are multi-syllable words, many more syllables than in the words in the first column. Uh, that first one, remember that T-I is going to have that same sh sound as it did before uh, in revolution. So now we're going to have it in the word national. National has only three syllables, right? National. National. That first one is the one that receives the stress. So again, you're going to almost feel your body moving into that national. National. And that's going to be the, that first syllable is loud and strong and clear. And the other two are very short. National. 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 And if you don't feel that contrast, you're not going to be able to pronounce that word correctly. National. National. Now here's one where I said we've got a lot more syllables. Cell sufficiency. We've got five syllables. Self sufficiency. Now you the first one, self, has a little bit more stress than the others. That's the secondary stress. But the one that really is stressed is sufficient. It's this one right here, sufficiency. And again, look at that CI has an SH sound. So here we go. Self sufficiency. Self sufficiency. The fish, fish. That one's very loud and very strong. Pause. Take your time on that one. Change the rhythm. Self sufficiency. Self sufficiency. Uh 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 uh. Self sufficiency. Here again, we've got one that's only three syllables. Suspicion. Suspicion. That C I is pronounced. Like the S S H self sufficient uh, self sufficiency we have suspicion there suspicion is the next one suspicion that middle syllable is the one that receives the stress suspicion now this is interesting how did that sound to you shin shin suspicion suspicion looks like there's a nice O there but you don't hear that vowel because it's in an unstressed syllable it's an in in sound hmm? very short very relaxed almost no sound at all. So let's practice that one. Suspicion. Suspicion. Next one is constitution. Four syllables. Consti and here's that two. You hear that oo sound. Nice, loud, clear because it's in the stressed syllable. Constitution. And again, shin, shin in that unstressed syllable. Constitution. Constitution. These are the ones that were giving you a lot of difficulty in class, right? Remember this next one here, that X has two sounds, kus, kus. So this is executive. You can't say that one, you can't say it unless you make that X have two sounds, kus, kus. So it's executive, executive. And that, that vowel after that s sound is the one that receives the stress. So it's executive, the executive branch of the government, executive branch. Executive. Four syllables, right? Executive. The second one is the one that receives stress. Executive. Then we come to legislative. Huh? Four syllables. And this one, the le is the one that receives stress. So it's legislative. 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 Judicial. Three syllables, right? Judicial. That second one is the one that receives stress. Judicial. And that CI, again, has that SH sound, right? Judicial. And notice, it looks like an A, but it sounds like O, because that's an unstressed syllable. The vowel is not clear there. Judicial. Judicial. Let's pronounce these three together because they're in your text. Executive, legislative, and judicial. You're going to have to say the three together. Hmm? Let's try it again. Executive, legislative and judicial, huh? executive, I have to hear that e, legislative, I have to hear the a, 
and judicial. I have to hear this, okay? And then we had division, right? Division, division, and remember that middle one is the one that receives stress, and this one has unstress, and you have that in, that ugly in sound, division. And then this last one, efficient. Now here again, the C-I is pronounced S-H, efficient. And notice that you don't hear an E sound there. You hear int again because it's an unstressed vowel. So efficient, efficient. Let's go down this column of words now. National, national, self-sufficiency, self-sufficiency, suspicion, suspicion, constitution, constitution, executive, executive, legislative, legislative, judicial, judicial, division, division, and efficient, efficient. So now you've practiced all those multisyllable words. Let's see if we can put them together. And it's going to be a little bit more difficult because once you put it in the text, you have to try to maintain the rhythm. So remember the text I gave you in class called American Government. And now I'm going to read it for you. And I'm going to read it sentence by sentence. I'm going to read it slowly and pause after each sentence so that you can hear the rhythm and see if you can pick out those stressed syllables because you should hear a contrast between the stressed and the unstressed syllables the stressed and the unstressed words, and you're going to hear a lot of movement. Then I will do each sentence in each paragraph, and then I'll put the paragraph together. All right? So here goes. I put on my glasses. All right. American government. Many international students are confused about the government of the United States. They wonder who holds the power and who makes the decisions. Is the power situated in the presidential office or in the congressional office? So let me go back and I'm going to read that now sentence by sentence and you can read it with me. Okay. Many international students are confused about the government of the United States. They wonder who holds the power and who makes the decisions. Is the power situated in the presidential office and in the congressional offices? How'd they go? Were you able to keep up? Were you able to work with me? Were you able to pronounce the words after I pronounce them? Let's try it a second, the second paragraph, and I'm going to read it through, and then I'll stop and pronounce it sentence by sentence. The answers go back over two centuries. Ever since the days of the American Revolution, Americans have been suspicious of government power. The early Americans believed that England had abused its power and restricted individual freedoms. They also believed that the primary role of the national government should be to protect individual freedom and to promote self-sufficiency. That's, that's going to be a hard one because there are a lot of multisyllable words there. So now I'm going to stop and I'll go through sentence by sentence for you. The answers go back over two centuries. Try it. Ever since the days of the American Revolution, Americans have been suspicious of government power. The early Americans believed that England had abused its power and restricted individual freedoms. They also believed that the primary role of a national government should be to protect individual freedom and to promote self-sufficiency. I hope you did pretty well on that one. Now we're going to go to that third paragraph and I'll do the same thing. Because of the suspicion of strong central governments, the writers of the Constitution divided power among three branches of government, the executive, the president, the legislative, the Congress, and the judicial branches. Although this division may not be the most efficient way to run a government, it prevents any one branch from obtaining too much power. So now I'll go through sentence by sentence with you. Because of the suspicion of strong central governments, the writers of the Constitution divided power among three branches of government. I'm going to say that one again because that's a mouthful, so let's try it again with me. Because of this suspicion of strong central governments, the writers of the Constitution divided power among three branches of government. Now here we go. Here's that long, those long words. The executive the president, the legislative, 
the Congress, and the judicial branches. I'm going to read that again. The executive, the president, the legislative, the Congress, and the judicial branches. And here's our last sentence. Although the division may not be the most efficient way to run a government, it prevents any one branch from obtaining too much power. And you're going to notice in that last sentence I'm going to say any one branch and too much power because I want to emphasize those words. So I'm going to, just like we did with the syllables, I'm going to slow down on those words and I'm going to make them louder and clearer. Okay? So now practice that sentence with me. Although this division may not be the most efficient way to run a government, it prevents any one branch from obtaining too much power. Okay, now I'm really looking forward to listening to you on your tapes, and I hope by watching this and working with me that you'll be able to produce wonderfully, beautifully expressive tapes. So thanks a lot. Bye-bye.